Hi everyone, this is Mr. Ong from Estuary Tuition Center. Today we are going to learn about electronics. Today's lesson will be the parallel circuit. So take out your manual and flip to project 6. The fan and fan in parallel. You are going to need the circuit board, the motor, motor with plate, lamp, batteries with two double A batteries, your switch, four of your two section wires, one section four wire, and one section three wire. So here we go. Put all the layer ones on to the circuit board, following their positions on the board. So the four piece wire will go to 2B. Next, place the battery at 5D. It's followed by the motor at C2. The lamp is at C3 and one trip section wire on F2. There we have it, layer 1 is complete. So proceed on to the second layer. Join the connecting wires to the components. Join the switch to the battery. And we need one more two piece wire. Once ready, push the switch to on position. So take a close look at this parallel circuit. Have you noticed anything? If you have seen the series circuit before, you will have noticed that there are some differences and there are very obvious differences from the series circuit. So in a parallel circuit, the voltage across parallel sections are the same. That means that the voltage here and the voltage here and the voltage here is the same. That is why the components, the lamp and the motor are drawing the voltage from the battery compartment here. Okay, so notice that for the parallel circuit, the lamp is brighter and the motor is faster. This is because also that in a parallel circuit, your resistance is lower. So one last comparison between the series and parallel circuit, we are going to simulate a broken or faulty equipment in a parallel circuit. So let's assume that this wire is open. It has, you have connected it wrongly somehow and we'll see what happens. Okay, so do you notice that when I take out this wire, only the lamp stops working. But when I put it in, the lamp works again. So doing the same thing, we are going to take out the wire for the motor. Do you notice anything about the brightness of the lamp? Have you noticed that it remains the same? This is the big difference between series and parallel circuit. In a parallel circuit, your voltage or your current still has an alternative path for them to flow even if one part of the parallel circuit is broken. So see again, this is the parallel circuit.